Hello and welcome to this video on root pruning bonsai. Bonsai need root pruning at different times and for different reasons. The most common reason is for repotting, but you may also need to do so when developing nabari and trying to rescue a neglected specimen. In order to take care of your bonsai, proper, effective and timely root pruning is needed. It is worth stating that this does not relate to keeping the bonsai small. That is a myth. Most of the time, your first purpose when pruning bonsai roots is for repotting. When doing so, you are going to focus on two things. The first is that you want to remove any large roots. That is, roots that normally fix a tree in place. They do not serve any purpose. Instead, it uses space that could accommodate more soil that prolongs the time between repotting and sustains the tree's growth. The second reason is to create a concave area under the bonsai. This is for the same reasons, but it also allows you to pot the bonsai in such a way that you minimize the volume required in the pot itself. This lets you use a pot of a proper ratio to the bonsai that you're trying to style. Without that concave area underneath, the bonsai would be artificially raised up more than what it needs to be. This means the pot would need to be taller, and the bonsai in turn would need to be bigger. The alternative is to remove even more of the root ball than you otherwise would. The second purpose is to promote nabari growth. Nabari is the juncture between the root and the trunk. It is also where the tree begins to flare out and widen. Nabari width is partially driven by the tree growing and spreading the root mass out to gather nutrients, water, and other necessities. You can encourage the development of your bonsai by pruning the roots back. By doing this at the same time as you make it impossible for the tree to grow roots vertically, you ensure it grows them horizontally. This forces the nabari to widen to accommodate these roots as they grow outwards rather than downwards. In order for that to happen, you need to remove the roots at the level of growth. This will regrow, and when that happens, the tree widens by just a little. By repeating this process, the nabari can be encouraged. First thing you do is to remove those that are underneath the tree in that concave area. This means the roots will only grow horizontally. You then remove some of these horizontal roots and it means those that remain grow out and it has to put on more growth to put more roots out at that horizontal direction. This also applies to Yamadori and is particularly useful if you're trying to fatten up the trunk very quickly. The last purpose is to rescue a bonsai. These are often but not always specimens that have been left neglected for a long time. These trees become pot bound or are unmaintained. While the first focus from most enthusiasts is to prune the branches and bring the bonsai back to the intended style, the roots are something that should also be examined. The first thought should be to remove large roots and reduce the volume. Most often when this first begins, the roots are all bound up in a circular fashion around the pot, and you need to tease them out. You remove these large roots when doing that, and by doing so you will often reduce a lot of the volume. This is done for the same reasons as stated for most repotting. You are creating room for more soil and prolonging the time between repotting. In this case, you're also giving it the necessary material to start recovering. This means that the bonsai can begin to recover, it has access to nutrients and water, and this will in turn support the growth of the branches and help the balanced growth overall. This is why the roots should be the first focus and not pruning the branches, although they should also be reduced in size to accommodate the fact that you've taken out a large part of the root mass. By reducing the number of roots when you do this, you also allow for them to grow, and you get more of those feeder roots developing, rather than the large fixing roots. This is also another necessity in bonsai. As you can see, root pruning is more than just making room for soil. It is something that needs to be considered when trying to recover a bonsai or having collected a Yamadori specimen. When you are trying to encourage the growth of an otherwise young and small tree and trying to develop the trunk to give the illusion of age and more. All these things are considerations when root pruning. Thank you for watching this video. 
If you found it interesting, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please post any comments, questions, or suggestions you might have below.